our chief guest for the day, Srimadhi Swati Lakra, IPS ADGP Women Safety Wing, Telangana, to motivate and inspire the youth of our college. It's always a pleasure to interact with all of you, to talk to all of you. Uh, I would have definitely uh, loved if more boys were there in this gathering because as many of you, in fact, the, uh, some of the anchors also had said, he for she. Uh, so, and uh, you know, there was this talk about 50% women, but I don't see that 50% here. So uh, maybe next time we should have, uh, you know, 50% uh, of both boys and girls, because after all, you know, when we're talking about women's safety, it's not just about women. All of you would agree with me on that. It's not about uh, the safety of women. It's, it's about the society that we live in. And when we are talking about safety, it is as much that inclusivity of uh, everyone to ensure that all are safe. And that responsibility is equally on boys and on girls. And in fact, we've spoken enough on you know what girls should do and what girls should not do and where should they go and where should they not go and what time they should go and what time they should not enough of it i think we have given a lot of you know uh, burden on our girls rather than uh, our boys and in fact i'm glad that um, mr Bal professor balaji has even spoken about that and i'm really glad that you know, you have very good role models on this stage today uh, who, who are your faculty, who are your teachers. And I'm really glad that you have such faculty members, your role models with you. And uh, I'm sure you are all in very good hands. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all the faculty members, uh, you know, for speaking their hearts out because that really it makes a lot of difference. Teachers make a lot of difference. And I still revere my teachers and what they have taught right from the time of my school days to my college days. I remember all of them. So for you also, the, your role models are on the stage today and please listen to them because I was, see, I was really impressed with what all of them have said today. Now, um, Talking about women's safety again, I would rather not, you know, give a lecture. I would rather try to take help from you, you know, that is what I am here for. I want to take help from all of you. We in the police department, we have tried a lot of initiatives. We keep, you know, trying to uh, bring out initiatives so that uh, you are safe, the environment is safe. But you need to understand that we are just a minuscule number of people who are doing that. And we cannot do that in isolation, uh, you know, alone. And that is the reason we need your support. We need your help. And that is why we keep having these volunteering programs. And this Gay Girl Safety Clubs is also a part of the volunteering program. But at the same time, again, let me tell all of you, when we started this girl safety clubs, it is 50% boys and 50% girls. So it's not just, you know, only girls in this girl safety clubs, but 50% have to be boy students also. So that both the boys and the girls together, they can help in create a more uh, safe environment wherever you are. And the main objective basically of uh, this Girl Safety Clubs was to ensure that the environment that you are in, whether it is in your college or while traveling from your home to the college or within your uh, you know, homes, the community in which you live in, all that you have to take responsibility and ensure that as volunteers, as uh, 
members of the girl safety clubs whoever faces any kind of issues in that environment you will be the bridge between the person who has any kind of issues and us in the police department so we will empower you with the knowledge that is required to become an ambassador or a volunteer with the women safety wing we will give you training on cyber crimes how to be safe in the cyber space how to uh, you know what are the initiatives that are there with the telangana police in the telangana police how you should be aware of all those things what you should do all that we will be giving you uh, information we will empower you we will give you activities also to do uh, among uh, the student community also and uh, at the end of it of course we will also give you a certificate so that uh, you know you can keep uh, for yourself so uh, when we started the girl safety clubs it was started in about five colleges initially and uh, it was very encouraging to see that so many boys wanted to be a part of this girl safety clubs so that is why i keep saying that uh, in fact i would like to uh, you know speak a little ahead of what uh, professor balaji has also said that many of the problems or the trouble mongers who are so called trouble mongers who are there they are just about 10 to 15% of them the rest of the 80 85% of the boys are all good but unfortunately you know it is those 10 to 15% of boys or men who create that kind of a bad environment in the society so it is the responsibility of that 80 to 85% of the men and boys to ensure that the other people behave themselves and that is why it is important that he for she men and boys have to be a part of this culture of having a safe environment for women and girls because ultimately you know all of you would agree with me that when i mean uh, you know when woman uh, faces any kind of harassment it is not just the mother and the girl who comes to us it is the brother who is uh, anguished it is the father who is anguished it is the son who is anguished also so it is the society that we are living in it is not such you know uh, a girl's problem is only a girl's problem it's not like that at all we have to understand that it is a problem of the society in fact swami vivekananda also had once said that the best thermometer for the progress of a nation is its treatment of its women we are still talking about it a long time back he had said that and we are still talking about it so somewhere something is wrong somewhere we need to ask our own conscience where is it that we are going wrong is it the upbringing you think about your own uh, families the kind of discrimination that sometimes is faced among the siblings itself you know when a boy child is given a little more food a little better food a little better you know if you are a non vegetarian taam dete hain ladkon ko ha and uh, you know a better school or a better a place from where the clothes are bought or even a better institution for studying a better school for studying it is a reality so we have to start from our homes itself we have to ensure that there is no discrimination when there is a discrimination at home itself obviously the boy will feel that he is more superior to his own sister and then if he is, feels that he is more superior to his own sister what are the other girls on the uh, public places so we need to understand why is it that once a girl child is born parents start shivering parents start feeling 
what is go what is going to happen what do they what are they then thinking about as one of the faculty members had said dowry it is the most dreaded social evil that we have in our society parents start thinking about dowry they start you know saving money they start saving uh, gold so that when the girl child uh, when the girl gets married this is what they will be giving i'll tell you one anecdote of uh, when i was uh, sent frankly speaking frankly i was um, i never faced that kind of a discrimination as far as my parents are concerned and i totally give credit to my parents for what i am today i will tell you about an anecdote my father because uh, you know my sister got into i am kolkata but because i i belong to a small town in ranchi which is now a capital of uh, jharkhand and uh, at that point of time there were not such good universities and my sister though she got into i am kolkata she could not join and she just got a provisional admission there because the results in that university had not come out for the graduation and so even though she got admission provisionally the results still could not come out and she had to come back so i felt very bad that because of you know the education system in the uh, place where we were studying uh, you know she couldn't uh, pursue uh, from i am Kol Cal calcutta at that time and my father also uh, saw that and therefore he ensured that my brother and i were sent to to, to delhi for further studies and uh, i took it as a normal thing that my father is sending me to delhi for studying i got my admission in lady shri ram college and uh, i uh, after that since uh, uh, my father wanted you know that i write the upsc exam i was not very serious frankly speaking and uh, the first time i wrote the exams i did not take it seriously when the prelims happened you know if you are good at uh, you know in your class 10 exams and your general knowledge and all that i did clear my prelims and i thought i'm good enough i'll clear the mains also which doesn't happen that way you know i did clear the prelims but obviously i did not pass my mains and i was fine with it you know i didn't uh, really feel anything i was staying in a hostel where you know that that point of time we didn't have phone calls with i mean cell phones there was a dabba phone uh, downstairs you know where in the uh, the announcement used to be made that your phone call is there so i got a phone call i rushed downstairs it was my father on the other line he said beta kya hua so i was wondering what he was talking about i was you know that night and i said uh, then i realized he was talking about my mains exam and i said papa nahi hua and uh, he he said okay beta koi baat nahi next time fir se prepare kar lena so this i then it kind of you know struck me and i went back to my room and i realized what a blunder i was doing my parents had sent me uh, my father was not very rich that he could afford you know his daughter going to delhi and studying there but uh, he did you know sacrifice a lot and he had sent me to delhi and here i was just wiling away my time and i cried and i then i thought that this is the this is it i will not i will ensure that i study uh, from now onwards and from that day to the next uh, prelims i studied and the rest is of course history i got through and uh, i got into the ips and uh, so what i'm trying to tell all of you is that all your parents have a lot of uh, you know they have a lot of uh, uh, expectations from all of you the reason that they have sent you to such good institutions is that they want that your the their wards do something and make them proud 
And I'm sure all of you have just not got admissions just like this in this college. You all are bright students, smart students, and there's a lot that you can do. And I want all of you to believe in yourself that yes, if you have the will, power, you can definitely do it. And never underestimate yourself in any ways. You can do it. And whatever you want to do, you will be able to do it. Coming back to women's safety, it is, it is something that, you know, there is no um, safe or unsafe place as such, you know. It is the situation that is safe or unsafe. When you go out somewhere, maybe a, you know, a, a room inside can be absolutely unsafe. So it's, don't think that a place is safe or unsafe. It is the situation. So you have to think about where you are going, how you are going. And as, as everyone would be, in fact, uh, you know, agreeing with me, women have that uh, sixth sense. You know, which helps us a lot, let me tell you. That sixth sense, you listen to your sixth sense. And, uh, you know, of course, be aware, like uh, some people talk, uh, spoke about the Hawkeye mobile application. Do ensure that all of you, so many of you are playing so many games, you are downloading so many apps. Have you downloaded the uh, Hawkeye application? I want you immediately to open your phones right now. Do you have your phones with you? Yeah. Including the boys. Don't think you're safe that way. Huh? <laughs> so all of you will open your... I'm sure how many of you have smartphones? Tell me. How many of you have your smartphones? Don't tell me you don't have. Huh? How many of you have your smartphones? Have one. Pick up your hands. Yeah. All of you have your smartphones, but you do not download your apps that are required. Now let me tell you, Hawkeye mobile application is something which will be really useful for you during an emergency. So I want all of you, it is both in the iOS and the Android. Okay, if you have an iPhone or any other Android device with you, it is available in that. Go to your uh, app store and kindly download the Hawkeye mobile application. It will take some time because you need to register. But I want all of you to go back again and download the Hawkeye mobile application. See, it is important to be aware, you know. As I said, you, uh, how, how many ever initiatives that we take, if you do not utilize if you are not aware of your rights, if you are not aware of what you should do and when, then it is of no use, isn't it? So that is why I am sure that these Girl Safety Club volunteers will make uh, you know, a lot of difference in helping you to know. And the reason why we have actually uh, made these Girl Safety Clubs is because we know that you will not come directly to us. There is some kind of a apprehension, you know, in the minds of everyone that, you know, police ke paas kaun jayega, hmm? isn't it? It is all perceptions, you know, that a police station is not the correct place to go to. Please understand that police stations are for you. We are public servants. We are there to serve you. But if you do not come to us, how do we know what to serve? So please understand. Okay. And that is the reason I, uh, we felt that these girl safety clubs will be like a bridge. Still there are some people who, are, who will be fence sitting and who would not want to, you know, still jump. And let me tell you, you know, many a times... Now, all of you are in your, having your smartphones, all of you use your, you are on Instagram, you are on Snapchat, you are on, uh, what else is there? So when you are using those, 
do you know how to use it and do you know that you know it can be used against you also and there are times when people have misused you know your photographs etc now all those things we will be telling you and that is why you need to be aware that when you are using these social media applications you have to be very cautious when you are posting a picture of yourself you know maybe a selfie or you know a nice uh, picture with a nice dress would you post that same picture on a road you will never do that isn't it it is like that if you don't have your privacy settings in place it is like posting your picture on the road you are posting it for a certain group of people please ensure that you have your privacy settings in place and you do not accept just anyone uh, you know as your friend there's so much to talk about cyber safety also i could go on but i don't want to do that your girl safety clubs will do that please volunteer for girl safety clubs both boys and girls i want 50% boys and 50% girl students to be a part of those and we will be uh, you know empowering you with all the knowledge and you will be the go to person for any person who has any kind of issues related to uh, any kind of uh, problems that they are facing so i truly feel that these clubs uh will be a bridge between the person who needs help and us how many of you uh, would would like to volunteer to be a part of these uh, girl safety clubs anyone here very good i'm glad that all of you are thinking of volunteering and there is nothing like you know you have to be uh, academically very good or it is your you know you you may be very good at uh, singing you may be very good at dancing you can be a part of it you may be very good speaker you may be a very good content writer you may be a very good artist anyone who feels that you are good at something and that you can contribute to the society please be a part of this uh, girl safety clubs and uh, once again i thank all of you for a uh, good patient hearing listening to me and i thank the anurag group of institutions for calling me for this uh, 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 women safety week and i'm sure all of you bright young students will be a part of uh, uh, a society which thinks and takes care of each other i once again thank you and uh, wish you all the best and uh, be safe and take care thank you so much